Me no know how I fool them. Me no know how I fool them. No, me no know how. New bombshell revelations are raising serious questions about the evidence used nearly a decade ago to get a murder conviction against international dance hall superstar Vibes Cartel. And it's adding fuel to his fight for freedom. I spoke exclusively with his attorney, Isop Buchanan. He says there's no longer any doubt key evidence was falsified. And a scientific investigation by a digital forensic expert proves it. Now the Privy Council, the United Kingdom's version of the U.S. Supreme Court, will have the final say. In 10 years, Adija Vibes Cartel Palmer has maintained his innocence in the alleged murder of Clive Williams, whose body was never found. His conviction came from a mostly circumstantial case based on a video and phone records from his Blackberry torch and a discredited witness. Now a comprehensive investigation by a certified British digital forensic expert cast doubts about the very authenticity of this evidence. In short, he found it didn't match up with the scientific reality. So when there is a, a gap between the, the, the footprint, for instance, the video didn't have any GPS on it and all other videos on the, on the phone had GPS, had, had the, the metadata and the epoch times in sequence. In his detailed report, digital forensic expert David John Martin Woodgate found that the video prosecutors claim put Palmer at the scene of the crime also had a time stamp that was different from the inalterable embed time. Buchanan says Cartel was at the hospital at the time of the alleged murder, and this proves it. Tampering or a misreporting of the time, which was crucial. So the time was clearly changed to fit the prosecution's case. The British digital expert also found proof that the phone had been used to make calls even after it had been seized by Jamaican authorities and that it had not been kept in a sealed evidence bag, which is standard law enforcement protocol. There was no explanation as to um, storage mechanism. Why was the bag open? Why, why wasn't it locked? Who opened it? Who, who would have touched it before, during, after? All of that. So those issues were those concerns were raised by the expert. Attorney Buchanan says the report helped convince the United Kingdom's highest court, the Privy Council, to review Cartel's appeal. They will have the final say on whether he is vindicated or must remain behind bars. I'm very happy and optimistic about being before the Privy Council. It is the final court, and you know, justice is. For all. No one from the Jamaican court system can comment on this since the entire matter is now before the Privy Council. Attorney Buchanan says he's prepared to go to London to make the case for cartel's freedom in person, which he's expecting to do early next year. In his words, the defense never rests. Oh, the media did it still. We know we need Gaza. I am in. No? Yeah. Oh. No, Sleep Nation, we have some great news right about now. We don't see what's going already. Say so Vibes Cartel phone got tampered with and we have definite proof of that. Yes, so I say, trust me people, this is such a great feeling. Now UK phone expert confirms that Vibes Cartel phone was tampered with. Now the expert explains the metadata of the video for which car which cartel was convicted is changed or missing. Now the experts also confirm that the phone was used to make cell call while cartel was in lockup. Now people, Gaza Nation. I know say this is a great feeling and a great moment for everybody right about now because nobody where did kinda give up on cartel uno kinda have a little glimmer of hope you know you understand if you give up on cartel and say boy cartel look like him and come around well we have a glimmer of hope you know because it's obvious the phone was tampered with we did already hear this from the beginning you know from the initial stages that the phone was tampered with but you don't know Jamaican people we don't really you know what I mean? We not really, from it no concrete, we not really run with it. You see what I say? But no, it's concrete. You see what I say? The British expert flew in and he realized that the phone was actually tampered. So this is a great, great thing for Vibes Cartel and the Gaza Nation. I'm mean, say, boy, I'm not saying like, I said, you can't, boy, brother, boy, you know, rest, brother. You know, rest. You know what I mean? And it just goes to show you that. To the naysayers, to the people who hate Vibes Cartel, I just want to say this. I know no feel a way. I know no feel some type of way about it. Because I would too. Because for no say you know I celebrate and I rejoice at the man for their prison for the rest of my life, him for ratting in there. And then you know hear this. You know, I get upset stomachs and running belly, you know. You know I have upset stomach and running belly. So 
it's understandable but it just goes to show you that whenever time you dig a grave or dig a pit or dig a hole you dig two one for the person where you, you dig it for and one for yourself because a lot of people don't know that you see the more them demonized vibes cartel are the more popular i'm get you understand and it works in his favor you see me i say no i could get down into the nitty gritty of the story now so obviously the metadata and the, if nobody don't know what metadata is metadata is like you know what i mean data picked up from you see me i say you don't know the circuit board or you don't know the motherboard of whatever device it is whether it be phone laptop whatever so it's metadata so i say just like youtube yeah are really the algorithm so i say the metadata out of the algorithm is really noticed by the you so i say the bot car if nobody don't know is a robot i control youtube if you never know computer you so i say so yeah one of them something there and it stated that vibes cartel was not located at the scene when the crime was being committed or you so i say it doesn't place vibes cartel on the crime scene you understand and it basically shows that the gps which is the location thing or the location app on the phone is turned on on all of the other videos so why that specific video now it would have turned it off you understand it just goes to show you said there was so many mix up and hiccups and hickory with the dog one and actually cell phone calls i'm sorry i'm not about cell phone calls whatever cell phone calls phone call were made from the phone so why would you use a phone that is supposedly or supposedly i'm sorry the phone of vibes cartel one of the greatest dancehall artists so i say and this is the piece of evidence we're not going to use for bring down the artist we are trying to tear down jamaica and why would you use it oh you want to call the girl and tell the girl say a cartel phone you use call her ja, ja. or you want to go in a the man phone and take out pictures and send to your woman and say out oh, of telephone this coming from you know yo listen me you guys are so i for calling on a freak as i god no you're so fucking weird you're not some weirdo brother like why would you do that you understand if you notice if, if you notice the justice system can come up and give a speech that was why they handed over the phone in the first place because them no say the phone get tampered with but because they want to send a vibes cartel because they have vibes cartel as a done them well want to send him away now you see me i say so it's like basically them just cook up a quick little thing chef it up quick and fast and just put it together and just shove it out upon the man and the whole jamaica run with it how no feel me just want to ask the people them now we eat vibes cartel to, to the to the core how no feeling on yourself you know say the artist will walk on the field because they're going to walk you know because with this evidence here the case are going to reopen and they're going to try it the proper way and you know the funny thing about it i think it's the best way of trying this case privy council because no bias thing can in it you see out here pure bias thing pure bias thing but vibes cartel adija palm and worry yourself youth from the 13th of march 2014 you were convicted and found guilty and I think on the 3rd of April, you got your sentence. Brother, trust and believe me, you must walk. You understand? The evidence where them are going to push to the Privy Council, it is going to, it, it going to spark up so much loopholes in this case. Some things that were hidden in Jamaica will be exposed in the UK. So, you know, prepare for yourself for that one. The ISAP you can and big up yourself, brother, because trust and believe me, I love the way how you really are carrying on with this case. And Vibes Cartel knew exactly what he was doing when he brought him on his legal team. You know what I mean? Because trust me, these guys who claim to say them are top liars, them just a collect a bag of money from Cartel and not try for freedom, man. And this brother, he's honestly trying his best to get him out. So kudos to Isaac Buchanan and kudos to the British expert there. But guys, you want to leave on the feedback in the comment section let me know what you guys think about this whole cartel thing and guys and you want to like up the video share out the video to everybody make everybody see what I want. this is a elated moment for me and for guys and nation i'm just hope that everybody where respect and love vibes cartel music feel the same way you know what i mean so guys you don't know one of them things that i have to make you know what i want so if anything me update to the scene so until the next time and the next topic guys i'm out